All right. It's day 12 of the advent of code. Sorry for that redo. I forgot to record. But now we're recording and we are ready. We are ready for day 12. We're almost halfway through. So tomorrow, after we do task one, we'll be halfway through. But these are getting tougher and tougher. So let's get started right away, right? Let's see. Day 12. Okay, so yesterday we were doing some um, some monkeys. We have to do some modular arithmetic. What are we doing today? We tried to hunt a Okay. All right. So we fell into the. Oh, hi, little Lanny. My biggest fan is here. And that's all I need to do these streams. Anyway, so we fell into the river. We went over there was a rope bridge, and then. We had to repair our device. And then we walked into the forest and the monkeys attacked us. Quite an eventful journey so far. What are we trying to do now? Okay. The river area following must be too low to get a decent signal. You ask a device for a height when it's a running area. Mm -hmm. So you can look at cellular with A's lowest elevation, B's and next place, and so on to the highest elevation said. Also, include the height of my mark for your conversation S and the location that you get the best signal E. Your current position S has elevation A. The location that gives you get the best signal E has elevation said. You'd like to reach E, but for to save energy, you should do it in as few steps as possible. During each step, you can move exactly one square up, down, left, or right. To avoid needing to get out your climbing gear, the elevation of the destination square can be at most one higher than the elevation of your current square. That is, if your current elevation is M, then you could step to elevation N, but not to elevation N. Okay, for example, um... You can move exactly one square up, down, left, or right. Hmm. Okay, so we just kind of compute the graph and then we find a path. says you're proud to move from your current position to a location that you can the best signal. Okay, let's just uh, start with the example input. D, 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 D. Example now. Okay. Um, are we also surrounded by A's in the puzzle input? Oh my god. E, S, A, A, B. So if I understand it correctly, uh, we can get, we can get, um, we can go from, uh, uh, let's, okay, let's just, We can go from, to avoid needing to get out your climbing gear, the elevation of the distance square can be at most high and higher. Ah, uh, okay. So the distance can be much lower than the elevation. So we can always go down, but we can only, we cannot go up. Okay. So it's A to Z. Now okay, let's read the input. So it's going to be string. Let's just go. Now read input. This is going to be IO read input A. Input A.
Okay. But what is the So what my question is what is the elevation of the destination square, right? Okay, that's just uh Okay, we're gonna do a read file. We're gonna go lines. Okay, let's just not have this be int. This is gonna be list list of int. Okay, a and we're gonna say where let's uh, let's just look at GCI from enum a z. Okay, so we, let's say that we can always go one higher up. Uh, where, let's uh, go import. Ah, we just map from enum. Enum S is 83 and enum is, that is just a, um, We have map this. We have map. Map map. Okay. What is happening now? No, nothing related, nothing urgent. Um, mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's just see what this does for the example. GCOD12.hs and D12. Okay, so we always start the This looks like kind of like kind of connected component, right? So I can go anywhere from here to here. Ah, oh, this is gonna be such a big castle. Okay. Okay, let's not, uh, not worry too much. Let's just have it be um, Let's make this into an int map of int. Int map of ints. So I wanna have this be an or maybe I could do like an unbox array. GT array. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. 
an array of arrays. We'll go Okay, you guys are using array. Like array, array. This is not good. Okay, let's see. Now I want to convert this to two array, or like a, an int map of int map, maybe. Okay, two array, and uh, let's get started. For data dot int map dot import qualified int map and I am ding Okay, uh, to array now. Like this, so you're gonna map zip width. So we're gonna take in the i and the row. So it's gonna be the row number and then the row. Row and row to zip. So we're gonna do uh, I am dot from list. Okay, now let's say the print is. Okay, so now we have a kind of a coordinate list. And now we are going to um, do a, a, we are going to convert this into a graph. Haskell graph.
Build a graph from a list of nodes. You need to identify your keys and a list of keys of nodes. Do what do you do? Okay. Um, now, so what are the connections here? So we can go from lower to higher. We can always go from lower to higher. I feel like if we connect the whole thing. Uh, so we can go from A to C or can we? Um, and okay, we cannot go from A to C, but we can go from A to B. But we cannot just like join together completely everything. So it would be very nice if we could just be, oh, okay, this, this A here, we can just kind of uh, join it together, but we can't because, um, Let's see where f of s equals. So we're gonna have s be the. So this is gonna be uh, the highest number, which is with a thousand, and f of e is going to be zero, and f h c is gonna be from enum c. Just so we know where we're going, and we can always go from anywhere to the edge, right? We actually don't need that for the edge. Okay, but so let's see here. Okay, now let's construct the a graph from this. Okay, maybe we can just do get the, um, yeah, okay, well, let's make this into like the adjacency graph. Uh, okay, so we, let's see here, exo neighbors, int map, int, int map. Int. So we take an int map, we take in the coordinate int comma int, and we return a list of int comma int neighbors x comma y equals. Okay, so we're gonna say here a uh, graph equals. So we're gonna say um. Yeah, maybe's. So, uh, where we're gonna actually go here, we're gonna say, um, I think it's like this. Uh, Plus I, A, Y plus Y, and this F map over minus one, two, one, minus one, two, one. Cohort is a list of uh, chords Now we can't maybe um, Okay, so now we're gonna go here um, Look up 
equal to y is equal to graph x y actually it's graph y and then x uh, graph y i am that thing and then we do uh, we f map Look at back to my y uh, int comma int is a uh, maybe int ah. Okay. We take whatever gets out of this and we're gonna go F map A okay. this is gonna be V X to my Y comma V Maybe in comma in cat maybe I don't know look at chords. Okay, uh, look up chords. Uh, map maybe. Uh, okay, and then we're gonna take. Uh, and then we're gonna look up the um, x i well is equal to um, graph i am dot thing y graph i am dot thing x map maybe and then filter and then we have the chord chord in the val and uh, val is less than or equal to xi val okay map maybe chords Ah, uh, map maybes or data dot maybe map maybe. Okay, we had to map maybes. Okay, and then we do uh, map FST. So these are the like the, con the connected neighbors of the graph. Okay, so two array map and print two array. Now I'm gonna say a uh, not map and print. I'm gonna say print a uh, neighbors flip neighbors zero comma zero. Just to see what it says for that. Okay, and it's saying that uh, uh, zero comma zero is a neighbor. Okay, so uh, we map maybe and c not equal to 
Uh, 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 uh. But since here, one is a neighbor. Uh, and we can just go up, down, left, and right. Okay, let's not do it this clever way. Let's just say. So, no. We're not gonna do it this so cleverly. We're just gonna say. Uh, minus one comma zero is down. One comma zero is down. Is left, right, uh, up, up, down. Okay, so we can go to the left and to the right, okay? Um, and now we're gonna write, uh, we're gonna write, uh, okay, let's see, uh, two array. Read input, so we're not gonna do it like this. We're gonna say actually, uh, we're gonna f let's find S. Uh, we have to find S. Okay. Um, Adjacency graph. That's just this uh, neighbor stuff. Okay, and we're going to do like a breath first search. But we need to know where we're going and where we're starting. default and then just minus one why 
it's fine, I'm sorry, it doesn't work, okay. Y, S Y, so it's just S X comma S Y comma underscore just plus fine. We go find index. Oh, okay, I can just map over the axis. Okay, uh, just I. Okay, so let's say map, find index, or data dot list, find index. Map, find index of. Uh, thousand over axis uh, and then I'm gonna map find index equals just is just S Y is equals map find index equals thousand of axis. Okay, now this one is gonna be a uh, S Y is equal to add make is to maybe um, just S Y and so this is gonna be the column is equal to 
this at just as wide. It's gonna be at only in one place. And then just as x is equal to find index. Just as y this is. Okay, and we will do the same for the E, 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 e. zero. Okay, and we're gonna say zero, and then it's gonna be infinite. Int comma int and int comma int. That's gonna be graph comma s x s y comma x e y no we're gonna close this okay now uh, let's print the two array here oh my god ding 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 So it doesn't find anything that's equal to zero. That's funny. Or debug not trace. Okay, and uh, now I know the uh, where I want to start, and I know where I'm going. Okay, and I'm going to two five. This is the S Y, so this is the uh, maybe this is the S X. Yeah, this is the S X. This Y S X, and then this is E X E Y E X.
Yeah, five two. Okay. Hello, what are you programming? We're doing add bit of code. Day twelve. And we're about to do breath for a search. <sighs> okay. So how do we do breath first, breath first search? Okay, we have the uh, we have the graph. Okay, we have the uh, list of those we've been to. We have the queue. Um, and so, and then we have the target. Let's see what do we do here, and what do we let return? It returns the, the number of uh, it returns the path, right? EFS graph visited. A Q a target equals so uh, BFS graph visited you know, empty list. This is empty list, um, and then a Q. So this is going to be next up and Cues. Okay, now where uh, n equals neighbors graph q Okay, now first of all if q equals target then we just return q EFS graph visited Q US target equals okay now we're not doing anything we're just adding VFS Okay, so uh, I'm missing some kind of kind of parent here, I think. Um, Okay, so we take the neighbors and we filter out the ones who are in visited. Okay, and visited prime, B prime 
equals a, a you visited If it has graph, you prime. Does this work? I don't think so. As G uh, visited is seven P and A. Q in the original Q is S. Targeted E. Actually, the like is uh, if there is a path from this one.
Okay, so either we kind of found it or we stop. Okay, and this is gonna be right to. And then case of left e prime prime. Yeah, because this path is not correct, right? Zero zero to zero one two zero to zero two zero to zero one two zero two from zero two to zero three from zero three to zero four. Path doesn't even go to. Uh, doesn't even go to. That graph, right? Like, okay, so let's check it out. Uh, and then zero four. Ah, but it's getting the right, left, and yeah, okay, makes sense. BFS graph B prime prime QS target Okay. 
No, let's just check if the our neighbor's thing is correct. Okay. Print neighbors. Let's say print the neighbors of this one. This one should be zero, one, two, three, four, five. Print neighbors. G one point five. G five is not an element of the map, really. Uh okay. Yes, okay. Uh So here we get 1.5, and that should be giving me. So I'll be looking up uh, x and then y. Yeah. So I was looking up x and then y. Ah, uh, I screwed it up somewhere. Yeah. So the neighbors of uh 1.5 is 0 0.5 yes 2.5 yes and 1.6 yes Let's not worry about the visited here. Let's see here. Visited a target. Okay, so if Q is equal Q is equal to target. Alright, Q. Now graph visited a Q Q is a set on member. A member visited equals uh, ah, but it should never be added to that okay, let's not do, think about that Okay, I might need a kind of a, I need a parent map here. Okay, find a map int comma int to int comma int. Visited. I have the parent map, and I have the queue. Okay. Import data dot map. Map. Import qualified data dot map as map. Okay. Now BFS. And this is just going to return. Maybe path increment BFS equals BFS A graph target BFS prime graph target and okay when I need the starting point as well. We don't actually look okay, so graph start target and 
So we're not gonna change the graph. We're just gonna return this maybe bad. Okay, no, this is gonna be BFS prime of a, a set dot empty map dot empty. So we add to F every cube start this initial cube. Uh, Where BFS prime. Okay, so if I have if I have an empty queue, then I return nothing. Well, I have an empty queue, then I return nothing. Okay, uh, let's see. If I have an empty queue, then I return nothing. BFS, uh, if I have a, the path, like if I have the Q is equal to target, then I will reconstruct the, uh, Reconstruct path parents um, Q target reconstruct path parents just okay so uh, reconstruct path. Okay, we can start path, parent start. Okay, so this is gonna be N. And I'm gonna say here, uh, start Q. This is gonna be the current, this is gonna be the map, P, and then we're gonna have the node, and we're gonna have the Q, and that's gonna be target, and then N. And start. Reconstruct path. A uh, parent. Uh, where are arc path? Let's see. Arc path. I don't even need this. So, a uh, rack path. A. Uh, I don't need that here. Rack path. A uh, C N equals a. Uh, C N. N column rec path uh, C N K C N equals Q equals uh, Q rec path C N otherwise is a C N and then rec path Start the first argument of rec path. End.
No, wreck path here. I think I just messed this up. Okay, so if we found it, we just reconstruct the path. Okay, that's kind of the base case. Okay, BFS Prime visited parent uh, US equals. So we do a uh, do the same neighbors. Okay, uh, and this is gonna be a uh, PS. Neighbors graph, uh, so we find the neighbors of the graph Q. We take away those who are not members. And um, so this is the ones we've not seen before. So we do we map.update. And we could do a map dot insert hold down map dot insert a p a p prime equals hold down map dot insert PS and then and S. So we we do the new parents. Okay, and also we built a new parents map. And um, BFS V. Uh, Set dot insert uh, Q FPS prime uh, QS. Mm -hmm. oh, this is uh, BFS prime. This one should work. Uh, oh no, this is Q. Oh, and then DVD S E. See what the parents are here at the end of this nothing uh, from the zero zero one point zero. Okay, so it went from uh, zero zero to one zero, 
and here uh, it, this one does not have any neighbors Just did this easy path for a search check for you. Mm -hmm. We're always kind of inserting into the map. to the cube. Zero, zero, one, zero. So ex explorers uh, zero zero and then explorers uh, one zero in here uh, and then explorers zero one. Okay, and now I want to see. Uh, I want to see trace show QNS. Okay, so zero zero, it looks at one zero and zero one. Okay, zero zero looks at one zero and zero one. Yes, the so one zero looks at two zero. Okay, zero one. Okay, it's already been here, and it's already been here. Uh, but why does it not get a... Let's see again. Trace, show ID. Maybe our uh, neighbor function is wrong. Um... Okay, zero zero. So I was looking at one zero, finds two zero. Ah, and then zero one, it just has no neighbors. So there's something wrong here. And.
Okay, uh, so it says for one point zero, it's a zero zero, it's a neighbor, and then one one is a neighbor. You can do zero as a neighbor, and one one is a neighbor. Ah, uh, this one should not be messing me from two. Next time you there, it's only zero plus one. XIB minus one, I think. Oh, right, so uh, XIV B is this equal to XIV plus one. Now we're at two four and it says two five and it's a uh, okay uh, let's oh, I think this one is not correct. Okay, we look at 2.4 a lot of times. Okay, so two. So this is our. What this is. Okay, uh, neighbors 1.0. Yeah, so the neighbors 1.0 is 2.0. We don't want to go back to the start, yeah. Okay, so 0, zero has 1.0 in these two, okay? Then 1.0, from 1.0, we can go to 2.0 or 1.1. Yes. Okay, for, and then from 0, 1, you can go to 1, 1, or 0, 2. Okay, then from 2, 2.0, we cannot go to Q, but we can go to, um, uh huh, let's say we can go to, yeah, I think I got it incorrect again, sorry. This one should be a y and x, and then this should be y and x, and this this should be y and I uh, know. So this one should be x and y. Um, and then. This one should be SX, SY, SY. This one should be Y, EX, X, EY. Okay, and then we start off at zero, zero. Okay, and we get the uh, so zero zero as one point one one point oh and zero point one. Yes. Now from one point oh we can go to two point oh and one point one. Yes. Okay, for zero point one, go to one point one. I 
we can go to um, 0 0.2 yeah from 2.0 we can go to 2.1 yeah but not this one okay from 1.1 1 .1, 1 .1, one So it seems to be doing uh, some of them multiple times, which is not good. Ah, they do get added multiple times. Okay, this is not should it should not be visited, it should actually be seen. Okay, and scene prime is um, Teton Union scene daughter set dot from list ls. Okay, so now we should only see things once, okay? Now, uh, zero, zero, okay, we get these two, and then zero, one, we get the uh, one point zero, we get the uh, okay, what is the target? Print s comma eve. Target is two point five. Ah, okay. I didn't flip the target yet. I don't know why I did not do that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I thought I flipped it here. Um,
Let's print the graph as well. So the graph says zero. Uh, it says two comma five. Okay, so that's the one we want. So this one is still wrong. So this one should be two comma five. Okay, this one, this one should be x and this one should be y. And then this one should be x and this one should be y. No, it certainly finds a path. Now let me do... Okay, and it's saying... Okay, I think this one is just wrong. All right. Uh, PS prime. So uh, we're gonna say uh, this is map. Uh, so new parents. <coughs> it's gonna be PS map dot union. Uh, ps and map dot from list uh, repeat q and s zip repeat q Oosh. Zero one and zero two. Go zero one and then zero two.
Hmm. Right. Okay. This one's absolutely correct. It's saying that uh, she wants your two. Why doesn't it see any neighbors from here? One of the top is already seen, but it searched C0,3, right? Maybe went around somehow. Oh. Right. <clears throat> So here I'm always saying, um, so, okay, so I want to, I want to build a path backwards, right? Yeah. Okay. Rec path, a path, start, and then we do here, we do a end. And there's your PC and equals start. Equals Q. And I want to, I reverse the path in the end. Okay, and now it's already building it up from the back. Okay, but then this one is not like the scene, right? So I'm actually going to say... Like this. So we build it up backwards. Yes. Now, we get something here. Let's see the length of this. Just 26. Uh, 
Oh, well, that's not the same as it should be, but okay. How the world are you, Jess? So let me, um, start T BFS, now T uncurry BFS. And curry and curry So let's make it do it like that. Okay. Int map comma. So it's going to be um, uncurry, uncurry BFS dot two array uh, res. I seem to be finding a shorter path. Oh, well, uh, why is it there twice? Ah. Okay, so I go from zero to one zero. Okay, from here to one one. Another two one, okay. And the three one, C to R. No, that's not legal. Let me see here. Um, at so it's G, uh, G comma. I don't care. I don't care. Print a uh, uncurry, uncurry PFS of G imp. Print neighbors G, and I want to see what the neighbors of. So it seems to go from uh, zero zero to one zero to one one. And then to two one, and then let's go to three one. Okay, so three one two two. Why does it say that? Uh, why is it saying you can go from C to R? Okay, so the value here of uh, cohorts of graph. Uh, so that's going to be a. Okay, so the xy value
Let's see what this gives us for uh, for a two point one. Mm -mm -mm. I'm so I'm screwing up these coordinates somehow. Uh, three one one two. Ninety nine. So two one has value ninety nine. Okay, so this is we thinking this is two one. It has value ninety nine. Now oh, GCI. Uh, from E um, C. Okay, yeah. So two one is value ninety nine. Okay, um, and it's we're looking at Liz's line. So two nine is value ninety nine. Now B has value ninety eight. We could go there. Two two. Two 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 has value ninety nine as well. Yes. Now a. Uh, 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 uh. One three has value hundred and fourteen. Uh. Wait, so 1-1 one, one has value 98. Yeah, okay. 3-1 has value 99. No, okay. This one is doing something wrong. B, X, Y. My coordinates all messed up. Like it's one coordinate system on one way, one coordinate in the other. Okay, but okay, so uh, we're looking at a uh, two. Yeah, okay, it's definitely wrong. So this one should be Y and X, okay, and this one should be Y and X. That's how it is in the, um, that's how it is in the, uh, here. So S Y, so that is the is gonna be the this is gonna be the S axis. And then this is the S Y. And then the Y axis. as a loop wow that's why just as why uh, X is okay what is the aim One hundred and fourteen. This one makes sense. That one makes sense. Make it make sense. Okay, print. Uh, 
I'm still getting 26. What the fuck? <laughs> Okay, so what is the path it's giving me? That's deleted. Okay, so it goes uh, zero, zero, one, zero, two, zero, two, one, two, 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 three, two, four. Three four. Four four. Five four. Six four. Seven four. Seven three. Seven two. Seven. Then it goes six zero. Seven, six zero. Eight five zero. Four zero three zero and then go through one three two three three and then it goes four three five three five two okay and this is the same it's the same Um, this path reaches the cliff in 41 steps, the fewest possible. Let's see, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Zero, zero. Okay, so zero, 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 two, zero. zero, two, zero. Two two, okay. So we seem to end up here, okay. But does that doesn't matter? We go one two two two, and then we end up at a two one. So two one two zero two one two two, and then we're here at the same spot, okay. And then we go. Two three two four. This is two three two four. Two three two four. A two three two three two four. Three four. Three four four four. Uh, five four six four. Seven four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, seven, four. And they also go here, okay. And then we go a uh, seven, three, seven, two, seven, one, seven, zero. So we go all the way up, yes. Okay. Uh, and then we go six, zero, five, zero, four, zero. Seven zero six zero five zero four zero three zero 
Three. Yeah, and then we go directly up, but so there's something wrong with the uh, so there's something wrong with the uh, let me see. ah, can't see your video only it's being said uh, oh no hello, hello uh, give me a second. I'm gonna go out and check the video status. I can see the video like on my app. Uh, so maybe the ones who can't see the video should. Uh, working now. Funny. Very funny. Okay, so I said we could go directly to E, but that was not true. I think we can only go from Z to E. Let me confirm that in this big one. Yes, okay, so we have to go from Z to E. A, B, Z, 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 Z. A, so this is one is gonna be from enum A minus one. This is gonna be from enum A, Z plus one. Now, A, let's go. A S val E val these are ints S val equals from so we're just gonna go like this E val equals S val E val Oh no, SX, yes, uh, because now we didn't do here. We should say SVAL EVAL. Okay, and we print the length of this. What? Just 32. Okay, so we just, uh, we don't count the uh, final one, I guess. Now let's see then. Uh, 
let's do a read input input over to a print dot minus one dot length uh, if may have length dot okay. that is uncurry uncurry bfs um, dot to array And then this one needs to be minus one here, actually. <laughs> Let's just see if this works with the example. Shows okay, and there's one tree show somewhere. Let's see, how, let's see how it works for the input. Let me save it first. Okay, non accessible patterns in SX. Again, he is here. Okay, so they're there, but something is wrong here. Um, cat maybe's SXS. Okay, yeah, so it's just empty. Uh, Trisha, oh, access is empty here. Ah. What? Ah, okay. I haven't saved this. Understandable. Have a nice day. Okay. 449. All right, we got part one. Finally, two hours. If this is back, they also want to learn the hacking is amazing, but perhaps to maximize about hacking, you start as low as possible. Elevation eight. It's both single has more. However, the trail you should be direct, taking the fewest steps to reach its goal. So you'll need to find the shortest path from any square at elevation A to the square marked E. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-
Okay, now it's any E A. Okay, let's see. My God. Maximize the quality of work. All right, the regular rate, right? Any square at elevation A. I suspect the best way to do this is to start from E, flip the whole thing around, and just try and find something that has value A. Because you can see there's a lot of A's, but there's only one A. There's only one A. But then if that, if that screws up the whole... Um, yeah, okay, that's a bit hard. Mm -mm -mm -mm. How many A's are in this? Okay, that's gonna be crazy, right? Okay, um... Just threw it. Do you see? I uh, now uh, sixteen hundred thirty five A's. It will still only take a minute and a half to do all of them. But so what we can do is we can be smart, right? So kind of every time we see a uh, an a um kind of uh, we start again but that's going to depend on where we start from Check all A's if you're only looking for the closest one. Because we don't know which one is the closest one, right? Uh, so what you want me to do? You want me to find the... So the thing is that like the on the path from the S to the nearest A, it might not be... Uh, so yeah, so what I'm saying is the, the right way to do this is going to do like start from E and just walk uh, 
Take a valid walk, like back steps, until you find a, a, an A. But so we're just, I'm just gonna see how how bad it is if I, because I've already been here two hours. And I'm a bit lazy today. Uh, now let's say a uh, reading butch uh, read file example lines a. Uh, LNS. Okay, now we're gonna do a. We're gonna add cohorts to all of them. So we're gonna say a zip width a zero. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the row number and I'm gonna do a line and I'm gonna do a zip width zero and zip width a okay and then here I'm gonna take the character and I'm gonna say a a I see a C a so uh, let's this be let this be this is gonna be Y and then this is gonna be X C A X comma Y comma C Okay now let's print LNS Okay a and let me see, is E in the correct place here? No, E is in 5, 2. But, uh, print, uh, E. Oh, okay, print, so this is correct. Um, okay, then we're gonna go... a concat don't concatenate them okay now a a's These are all the A's. Okay, so I can do... Um, And I could probably, you know, like break early or something like that. A
we're gonna take a minimum of this okay and it's gonna be 29 now if we turn this into input it will take some time huh mm. That is annoying. Uh, int map bang key eight is not an element of this m of the map. Ah, uh, I need to change this to input as well. <laughs> it finished in three seconds. Let's see if it's correct. Okay. See, we could have done so much work, but it took three seconds. Okay. I'm not gonna spend. I'm not gonna spend an hour, an hour extra to make it work and I think it's because you know it's just it's quite fast I mean binary search oh I like that okay uh, but now we have an implementation of binary search which is quite nice right um, And we have like sparse arrays and all like that. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna let it stand like this. I'm gonna say um, task one. Is gonna be. They're gonna link them to an to an end. Oh. Take this as some int to uh, an int. Okay, print task one. Um, right. No, I don't need that map. Ah, oh, well. We should have to have map, right? Okay, so that's task one. I'm just gonna go uh, where uh, an LS in here would be this. This is imp, and then this is gonna be gonna sip the imp. And we're not gonna take equals zero, we're gonna say um enum a and then this one is gonna be minimum dollar map maybe a a x x minus one dot length over BFS GAE is G 
g comma anything e equals to array imp read input example example print dot task one that's two Alright, uh, we've cleaned out the code. We wrote a breadthread search, which I'm guessing is gonna come very, very handy later. Um, um, and it's, yeah, a lot of some of these, yeah, I mean, this is a classic kind of uh, you have to do with breadthread search. Uh, we could have like tried to rearrange the queue so instead of always taking the, the uh, beginning of the queue uh, we could have prioritized right so and that would be like um so we try to go in the direction of the and then let's see here where q equals prioritize q prioritize prior prioritize prior yes q is prior you and it's the same here Query. there's q comma qs and q comma qs equals and then what we do is we say Something like uh, the default one is a Q comma Q S prioritize Q comma Q Q S equals Q comma Q S. This is a standard BFS now we can also write prioritize QS equals a find min by and then we can do uh, something like uh, sort by I think we can do data dot list uh, sort on um, and then we're gonna say here where Q Q S equals sort on a metric. Uh, Q QS. Uh, sort on metric Q uh, metric equals so this is gonna be the distance from um this Euclidean distance is uh, square root Set here um, ex comma ey equals n metric a x comma y equals 
is square t of x minus e x x x one equals uh, y one equals uh, y minus y and then we do square root of x one times x one plus y one plus times y one and uh, no it's not floating int uh, okay and then we do um integral okay so here it will do a priority queue instead and uh, uh, but it doesn't give the same number uh, it's not good I guess this metric isn't stable. Ah. Reverse. And this one takes actually, it takes a lot longer. Okay, yeah, we can't do it this way because we have to kind of prioritize the total cost. So we would have to look at like the cost of getting through the parent and then... Uh, okay, but... Uh, but there we can run it. Okay, let's say it says git and d12. Alright. Um... This was quite long today. Um, it would have been shorter had I not been confusing myself the whole time with some coordinate system. Teaches you kids don't have ints, comma ints have like x coord, y coord, all like that. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. I hope the recording and everything worked. And uh, yeah, see you tomorrow, same time. Um, and uh, yeah, that would be nice. All right, thank you, and bye-bye.